Yes. What's going on, guys? I got some freaking exciting news. Though today and this wonderful video, we're going to be unboxing this wonderful box that I've already opened, but you guys don't know what's in it. But I'm excited and I can't hold it anymore. So today, I've got gaskets. Boom. I got the turbo. Yeah, so my KO3S came in and it's going to be a exact um, replacement to my current one. And this thing looks actually beefy. It wasn't bad for the price. Hopefully it lasts. I already got my beautiful studs in for the exhaust manifold. I'm pretty excited. I've already got the other turbo basically combined completely. And all that's left really is to jump straight into this. So I'm not wasting any time. I gotta hook up all the wires, all the gaskets. Um, I've never personally done this before, so this is gonna be all new. So I can't wait, so let's get started. So we got the instructions. Are these instructions? That's good to know. So there's our exhaust gasket, which is already freaking bent. There we go. This thing goes on the turbo. No, I can't be right. Eh, there we go. Yeah, that's that's right. This is for our manifold. And then we have Uh, I'm not actually, this is for our oil, and I'm not sure what this is, so I'm gonna go check that. Okay, so I have all my parts here from the old turbo, and basically I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me getting this turbo ready, because I know I'm ready for it. So, let's further ado, let's jump straight into this. Definitely everything is operational and ready to go back in the car. So let's take this and the next time you guys will see it, it'll be in the car. Look at that. The turbo is now in the car, mostly done up. Uh, it's all bolted up and everything. All that's left is to bolt up. Uh, the two pan for the drain and then hook up the wastegate, charge pipe and intake piping. Put the air box back in of course and put the headlight back in.
it's day two of this video because I was up all night fighting with the oil pan like the the turbo oil drain I, I was seriously dealing with that like pretty much all night like the bolts would not tighten at all the gasket was having issues I finally got it uh, it's not leaking any oil thank God anymore but I did everything else because why not in the process uh, install the headlight again kind of doesn't really sit super nice I think one of the mount mounts are broken on the bottom but as you can see I got the stock intake back in the turbo is bolted up there's no leaks coming from the turbo continue the fingers cross um, I've already had it running once just to check but I will run it for you guys you guys will be able to hear it and without further ado this is just kind of like a temporary line um, same with that I got to get a coupler so I got to run to the store and get some more vacuum line and so get annoying buzz out of the way Look at that, it starts freaking smoothly. I would call this turbo swap after a long haul. Success complete. So all that's left to do is basically get the car off the jack stand and take it for a test drive. So let's jump straight into that. And when the gear fine, moment of truth. Will it actually move? Oh, we're moving. It's not bad. Not bad yet. Pulling about 15 pounds. Whoa. Oh, the brakes are like non-existent in this car. That's always nice. <laughs> yeah, pulls pretty decent too. Like, doesn't make a lot of power, obviously, but it can still pull, which is good. Definitely see some smoke coming out. Ooh, what's burning? What's burning? Okay, it's just the bolt for the, the turbo. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I know it was a long haul to get this done, but it's done. The car is operational. Now it's just moving on to some last minute stuff to at least get it drivable on the road. Um, the oil change was done, so that's off the list. And I think small things, which is going to be spark plugs and, and checking some of the fluids, power steering for sure, I'm going to top up. But that is all to come in upcoming videos. I can't wait to show you guys some other stuff like a hood and license plate so we can actually drive it. But other than that, remember guys, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, Valley and out.